Uh, it's a pleasure to discuss the results of um, laparoscopic and open TME and Europe's contribution to this. But it's crucial, I think, that this really is set in the background to Professor Pongere's talk as Colour 2, the trial that we're starting to hear the early re results from, is going to really update all of this information um, for, for us, I think, for the next decade. Up to this point, however, we've had um, um, some experience of, of both prospective clinical and randomised trials, and the numbers perhaps aren't as great as, as, as you might think of patients included actually in formal trials. There has been a Cochrane review of this, but I think much more pertinent um, to this topic is the four meta-analyses published in the last 12 months or so. But in total, we're basing a lot of our conclusions in, in laparoscopic rectal cancer surgery on about 4,500 patients. Um, and the way that the, the designs the trials, about 1,300 of these have actually had the laparoscopic pro procedure. So these are the conclusions that we're, um, that we're extrapolating across uh, world practice. Um, Europe has contributed nine of the 23 prospective clinical trials and half of the randomised control trials, so four, four out of eight randomised control trials. Um, and it's contributed about two, two, two thirds of the patients to these studies. Now, there's only been one multi-centred randomised trial though uh, prior to the Colour 2 trial, and this is the classic trial, which finished recruiting its patients back in 2002. So although we've got 10 year follow-up on these patients, there, there has been a lot of changes, I think, in our technical expertise, our patient selection, our neoadjuvant treatment strategies, and all this needs to be uh, born, born into making conclusions from, from this trial. Um, but the classic trial, the only multicenter trial to date, um, has contributed about half of the patients in the randomised group. I think this is why the colour 2 is so important, because it's going to give us nearly 1,000 extra cases, another 739 randomised laparoscopic cases. Um, and one of the other problems when we look back on the clinical and randomised trials is that it's quite difficult to extrapolate out TME from APR, as has been a lot of these studies have included rectal cancer without necessarily focusing on, on a specific operation. None, nonetheless, in the four randomised clinical trials from Europe, we can see that there have been significant short-term outcomes. Um, the operation tends to take a little bit longer, but it's associated with significantly less bl blood loss, and particularly in the laparoscopic TME group, this translates into a reduced transfusion re re requirement. The length of the incisions tend to be smaller, the amount of wound complications tend to be less. Um, but again, I suppose as a, as a big contributor to the total experience in the European trials has been the, the classic trial, which had, about, which had a 34% conversion rate, which I think is, um, uh, is much higher than, than our current con contemporary con um, practice.